Most tech companies release a updated product line on a near annual basis. This is because technology is constantly moving forward and also because they like money. So in 2023, you might find it a bit strange that I'm trying to sell you on a camera that's been around since uh, 2018. That's nearly five years. But hang with me, here are some reasons why you might still consider buying a Nikon P1000 in 2023. All right, this first one's easy, and it's simply because it's available again. For most of 2021 and 2022, it was very hard to get your hands on a Nikon P1000. So this in large parts was because of the ongoing chip shortage and undoubtedly because Nikon were trying to refocus the camera side of their business towards their more expensive mirrorless cameras. So as of recording, you can still buy a Nikon P1000. They retail for about 999 USD and that's about the same as what they came out as. But I have noticed here in New Zealand, if you wait long enough, they tend to go on sale reasonably often. So if you're quite savvy, you might save yourself $100 here or there. All right, so I don't need to tell you that the last few years has been rough for everybody, including those in the tech industry. Nikon wasn't alone in having to try and pivot their business during the pandemic. Nikon and other camera companies were already facing an uphill battle as cameras on smartphones started to close the gap in an ever-shrinking market. Come 2023, it's CES week, that's the Consumer Electronic something, um, and no new news out of Nikon on DSLR or bridge cameras. In fact, I think they've made it pretty clear now they are focusing on the mirrorless side of their business. So I would not expect to hear anything from them in this front. But what does this mean for you? Well, it means no new ultra zoom cameras for the foreseeable future. That means no buyer's remorse. You can go out and buy a Nikon P1000 now and feel pretty safe that it's not gonna be replaced in the next 12 months. Even if Nikon was to surprise us with a brand new camera next week, it's highly unlikely that the zoom length and quality would be much better than what we have with the Nikon P1000. Nikon has already hit a soft limit on how far you can zoom while keeping the production cost down. Any major improvements in zoom quality would likely have a large cost inbuilt and that would probably get passed on to the consumer, that's you and me. Chances are any new successor to a P1000 would likely see quality of life updates, better UI, better audio quality, a higher fidelity 4K, you know, boring stuff like that. So you wouldn't really be missing out on much if they did do it. You know, these are all things that are nice to have, but you may not absolutely need them because you're buying the camera for its ultra zoom lens and not really all the little bits and pieces in between. Still does the job. So I like to keep things balanced. All things in their place, so there has to be a reason why you shouldn't buy that camera. It's as simple as this. If you are buying a Nikon P1000 for anything else other than the zoom lens, you're probably gonna be disappointed. There are better options in the bridge camera market. In fact, there have always been better options in the bridge camera market. Audio, frame rates, and higher quality video, general performance and low light are all a few things that come to mind when I think of things the P1000 doesn't do particularly well. It's not to say it's bad. I mean, you can still get absolutely amazing photos out of the P1000. I take it everywhere with me. I absolutely love it. I would buy it again in a second if this one broke. That being said, it wouldn't hurt to have some new features, some upgraded stabilization, higher frame rate 4K, just, you know, nice little things that have come along in the last five years. In short, if you don't need the zoom, you probably want to look at getting a different bridge camera. Super zoom. So that was a quick look at reasons why you should still buy the Nikon P1000 in 2023. Do you agree with me? Do you not? Let me know in the comments. Is there anything that I have missed? Like and subscribe. And if you want to hear more of this again, let me know. Have a great day. I hope you're all watching CES to see if anything cool comes out. Kakite ano. Cheers.